This place is a mess. Ooh, looks like a tornado game three. Hey, that's my turkey eating hat. <laughs> ah, I wish it was Thanksgiving. It's a lot of work. I think I'm gonna have to enlist some servants of the Lord. opportunity for you. Oh, glad you asked. We have a, uh, a chance to earn some blessings. What kind More of blessings? specifically, a chance to earn some victory bucks. 100 victory bucks, to be exact. Hmm. Um, you see our storage room over here? That's a wall. Yeah, through this wall oh. is our storage room. And it looks as if a tornado has just swept through. And there's stuff everywhere. I need someone to volunteer to serve Jesus and help clean that room. Will that get victory bucks? 100 victory bucks. I'm your man. We've got a taker. All right. Well, hey, man, follow me. We'll get this party started. Well, come on in, Brother Luke. Check it out. Here's our mission at hand. Wow. Fully immerse yourself in the situation. Just, I don't even know what to say about Breathe this. Breathe it in. See this? This is youth ministry. Tremendous. Say it with me. Youth. 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 Ministry. Ministry. Love it. Yeah. All right. 100 <laughs> victory bucks, man. Think you could do it? I know you can do it. You're a capable young man. Hey. I'm getting old. Remember, we're serving Jesus. My back isn't what it used to be. I can't do this. Get hey, in there. Finish your job. Okay. Good morning and welcome Hello. to Junior Church. Thank you for joining us on this busy day here yeah, at Victory Baptist done. Church. Lots of stuff. Going. It's like spring cleaning at the end of the summer. Yeah, yeah. Hey, just the other day I was on the stage. Uh, I cleared up the gaming shelves and all the prizes. I noticed that. It looks really sharp up there. So uh, done. we are. We are. We're getting things cleaned up, making it look nicer here yes, in sir. Junior Church. Hey, speaking of that, is Luke still over there cleaning the room? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, um, on that note. Luke Bob has a lot of work ahead of him, and I was just checking in, and looks like he could use some help cleaning. So, uh, Ethan, I was wondering if maybe after we're done here, if you could like go help him. Yeah, I could maybe do that. clean out that storage. But uh, I'll, don't worry, I'll make sure you are fairly compensated, okay. if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with that said, we need to get back to work because we got a lot to do. Uh, Ethan needs to go help Luke. Yes. Uh, we got to get Junior Church cleaned up. So you know what we need to do. We need to get started right now. Quarter. Two quarters is 50 cents. Oh, wow. Dude, look, I got a dollar. Yeah, it really looks like you did need help. Whenever Brother Matt's going to give me my money, I'm going to have, like, a lot of extra money. Uh-huh. We should really clean this up. But I am. Can you help me make, like, a penny tower? A what? A penny tower. It's You're like gonna the, make a tower out of day's wages? It's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's, it's like the Leaning, leaning tower, tower of Pennies, yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Alright, it is now song time. time. Yeah, we're pumped, we're excited. And we're all we have left. <laughs> we are all that remain because the other two are busy serving Jesus. Working yeah. hard. They're working, we're singing. For the Lord, that's yeah. right. Uh, I'm sorry you have to listen to us sing. There That's are right. more talented ones, but we can all sing for the Lord. Can I get an amen? Amen. Woo, glory. Today we're going to be singing, He's Still Working on Me. That's right. We're doing some work. Oh. Very appropriate yeah. song. No, Brother Gavin He's working loves on this us. song. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Brother Tony, you want to all start All right, here we go. Ready? He's still working, working on me to make me what I ought to be. It took him just a week to make the moon and the stars, the sun and the earth and Jupiter and Mars. How loving and gracious he must be. He's still working on me. He's still working on He's still working on me. 
too much? Yeah, just a little. Just a little. Well, he's still working on me, yeah, brother. You, you know. You know. Uh, you know. It's, uh, it's getting kind of late. I thought the other guys might be done that room by now, but uh, hey, maybe. Hey, you want to go help them out? And uh, how do I get? I'll make sure you are treated fairly, and you'll you'll have a just reward, my friend. So go help them. See if they need some help. Thanks, man. I got a I got a question for you. Yeah. You keep uh, fairly compensating these guys. Yeah. Where, where are you getting all this money from? Father has cattle on a thousand hills. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to pay them in cattle. Got it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, boys and girls, it's now time for today's Bible lesson. I hope you brought your Bibles with you. If you don't have them, run, go get them real quick because this is a Bible lesson. You're going to need your Bible for the Bible lesson. I need you guys to make sure I'm teaching you the right stuff. Make sure it lines up with what's in this book, okay? Today we're going to be in Matthew chapter number 20. Matthew chapter 20, and we're going to begin reading in verse number 1. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle, and saith unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also unto the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So, when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. When the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, these last have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden in the heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine is, and go thy way. I will give unto this last, even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first and the first last. For many be called, but few are chosen. Mm. This is a very thought-provoking parable. Hmm. So here in today's Bible lesson, this true Bible story, we have Jesus, and he's with his disciples, you know, Peter, James, and John. And Peter, James, and John, they were, they were a little bit, uh, um, maybe they were a little proud. And they, they began to explain to Jesus, hey, Jesus, what reward have you for us? What reward is there for us? Being that we have left all that we have, we have forsaken everything. Our jobs, our livelihoods, we've gave it all up just for you. Now, what, re what reward do we get? Clearly, we should be getting a great reward because we have followed you. We've left everything. And this is where Jesus steps in and tells us this parable that we just Read. And Jesus tells this parable for his disciples so that they can understand this heavenly meaning. And in this parable, uh, 
Jesus began to speak of a landowner, or like a landlord, who owned a bunch of property, and on that property he had a vineyard. A vineyard's where they would grow grapes, and you'd have acres and acres and acres of grape vines, and they would use that to make juice and wine, and, and, and maybe make some grape jelly. Y'all like some grape jelly? Come on. God is good. I like some of that grape jelly. That's what I put on my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, in case anybody wants to know. Because we know grape jelly is far superior to uh, strawberry jelly. <laughs> anyway, in today's parable, this landowner goes out the beginning of the day and says, Hey, I need to find some workers. I've got a lot of work to do today. He found some laborers in the market and said, Hey, you guys want to work? I'll give you a day's wage. A day's wage in this time is a penny. A penny! One penny! Well, yeah, but not like a penny nowadays. A penny nowadays isn't worth much, is it? You can't get anything for a penny anymore. But back in these Bible times, a penny is how much you would make for a day's wage. One penny, okay? Remember that. And he found some people, and they went and started working early in the morning, started working in the vineyard. Well, they, they agreed, and, and they said, okay, deal. I'll work for a penny. Absolutely. And they, and they, they set out. Later, uh, at around, I don't know, 9 o'clock or so in the morning, the landowner went out, saw others standing in the marketplace, idle, doing nothing. He told them, he said, hey, I can off offer you some work in my vineyard, and I'll pay you whatever is right. And again, these, these guys were like, yeah, sure, of course, I could use some work. And so they went, and they too began to labor in the vineyard. So you had a whole bunch of people now working out there, working in the vineyard. They went off to join the others that had already been working out there. Uh, at noon, the landowner went down to the marketplace. He saw more men looking for work. Wow, a lot of people wanting to work. Okay, that's good. It's important to work, isn't it? God wants us as Christians to be hard workers, so this is really good. He offered them some work, too. They joined the others working in the vineyard. You know, they agreed on whatever was fair. That's what he was going to pay them. Now, the sun was overhead, so, I mean, we're looking at close to noontime, so it was getting a little hot. You guys ever have to work in the sun? Oh, the sun can be brutal, and it can cause you to sweat and make you very tired. Maybe you can get sunburnt, or, or else it's very hard to work out in the sun, isn't it? But these, these, these guys were out there getting it done, working hard, because that's what they were hired to do. Three hours later, the landowner offered work to more men looking for a job. So we're getting later on in the day now. The sun's not at its highest anymore. It's not quite as hot. These men, too, they, they agreed to the terms and said, well, whatever's right, I'll, I'll work for that. And they went out and joined the others working in the field for, for hours. Now it's getting later in the evening. This happened again, and he found some more men standing around. He says, why are you all standing around? Nothing to do. You're standing idle. You all need some work? They said, yeah, I, no one is here to hire us, but we could certainly use the work. We could certainly use the help. So these men, too, went out and labored only for one hour. Oh, my. So it was the end of the day. Evening had come. The owner of the vineyards came called out to his steward, and he said, I want you to call in all the laborers for today, bring them in, and we're going to pay them. We're going to pay them for their day's labor. The workers were all lined up with the last workers to be hired at the front of the line. All the way back to the very end was the first one to be hired. And to begin to pass out the wages. The money they had made that day. And the very last one to be hired had not worked very long at all. He hadn't worked in the heat of the day or anything like that. Just a little bit of labor. And the man, the man that owned all this land, he gave that last man a penny. That's a whole day's labor. Wow, that was very nice of him, wasn't it? He came to the next guy, one penny, and one penny, and one penny, all the way down to they got to the people that were hired at the very beginning of the day. And these guys are thinking, oh, yeah, if they only worked a 
couple hours and they made a penny. I can't wait to see what I'm going to make. Mmm, I'm excited. We were working in the heat. We were working in that sun. We were working the longest. We're definitely going to make the most money. Mmm, something happens. The ones that were hired at the beginning of the day, they too made one penny. Remember, one penny is a day's wage. Well, these people that got hired first, they were not happy. They were upset. They began to murmur and grumble and complain. Hey, that's not fair. How come we only got one penny and we did more work than anybody else? This is unfair. You should pay us more. <gasps> oh, now hold on, partner. Hold on. If you remember back, this landowner and the first ones to get hired, they agreed. They had a deal for one penny. That's a day's wage. That was fair. And the landowner didn't do anything that was unfair. He did that which was just. But the landowner was also a gracious person. They were loving and compassionate. And they were there to help those other servants who couldn't find work all day long. And he chose to show kindness to all the servants that worked with him the whole day. So the landowner didn't do anything wrong. The landowner was kind and showed kindness by giving a full day's wage, even when people didn't work a full day. He says, take your pay and go. I've decided to give the one who was hired less the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you just envious because I'm generous? Oh. The landowner began to explain that he was just showing generosity to these other servants. Some people may look at that and say, that wasn't fair. But that was 100% fair because that is the wages that the landowner had agreed on and so did the laborer. Jesus began to explain the story to his disciples. He wanted to remind Peter that, look, God is good. And he has the right to decide to reward each person as he chooses. Not necessarily as someone thinks they deserve. Because, look, sometimes we think we deserve a lot more than what we get. But that's because we're sinful people. We're greedy but God decides the rewards and the blessings as He chooses. Job 12, 13 says this, With Him, talking about God, is wisdom and strength. He hath counsel and understanding. You see, the, the farmer rewarded all of his workers. Some thought they would receive a little, and some thought they, re, they would receive a lot, and all received at least as much as the farmer had promised them. The ones who worked the least received just as much as the ones who worked the most. Because the farmer had chosen to show kindness. He chose to be generous. See, those that were hired early in the morning, they knew they would work a whole day and receive the whole day's pay. It was worth it to them, you know, to work one day for one day's pay. So, you know, they accepted the farmer's offer. It was the good farmer's right to be extra kind to whomever he chose. And this is the way God is with his people. Sometimes God blesses others. And when we see God blessing others... We have the choice here. Would we be happy for that person? Or would we be jealous and envious of that person and look at them and say, that's not fair, I wanted that. Ooh, that's not the way God wants us to be. God wants us to rejoice with those who rejoice and to weep 
with those who weep. And that's what we see in Romans 12, 15. It says, Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Hmm. It's a good thought. How do you feel when someone gets a, gets a gift or something that you were wanting? Are you happy for them? Are you jealous? Are you angry? Are you sad? Hmm. What if someone else was given something that you really wanted? Maybe a, a toy or something, maybe a new video game, maybe the, the newest, I don't know, whatever you guys are into, guys and gals. Are you upset when someone else is blessed? That ought not be, my friends. We should rejoice with those that rejoice. When something good happens to somebody else, we should not be jealous and selfish. We should be happy for them. What if it's your brother or your sister? Oh, maybe they got a little extra on their uh, allowance for the week. That's not fair. I didn't get extra. Hmm, well, maybe you can be happy for them. Maybe you could be happy that they have been blessed. This is an important lesson to learn because we understand that the blessings come from God and they are His to give to whom He wants. That's not up to us. We just get to decide how we respond to it. You see, the Lord is good to all. God, God is good. He's way better than we even think. God's a good God, and He gives blessings to those that He wants to give blessings to. Just think, you serve a God who gives people good things that they don't deserve. That is called a beautiful word. You ready for it? Grace. Ooh. Not only does He give other people good things that they don't deserve, but He also gives you good things that you don't deserve. Now that's something to rejoice about. We should praise God for that wonderful thing called grace. And God extends it to every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. God's grace is extended. We see the, the biggest form of grace was when he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to pay for our sins on the cross. And now he provided a way for us to have eternal life so we could be saved from a terrible place called hell and we could inherit eternal life with him in heaven. This is the grace of God. Jesus is the purest form of grace. James 1.17 says this, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Understand the blessings of God are up to Him. Remember, rejoice with those that rejoice. Weep with those that weep. Let's not be envious people. Let's be grateful and be happy that God blesses His people. And let's remember that God is good all the time. And today, if you have not accepted that first gift of grace, that is Jesus Christ as your Savior. I urge you today, call out to Jesus Christ. Trust in Him that He died for you. He loves you. Then rose from the grave, proving that He was indeed God's Son. And He's today the right hand of the throne of God. And He longs to hear from you. Only He can save you from your sins. Only He can wash away those sins. We must turn from those bad sins that we do and say, God, forgive us. I trust in your Son, Jesus Christ. Let's live today in grace just like the Lord. <laughs> Looks like I arrived just in time. And we're almost done. Who's we? You know, us, the group. Oh, it's, uh, it was just me and Ethan. <laughs> Where's this go? Wait, are you helping too? Yeah. I'm here to help. Over there. You picked up one thing. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just, I'm here to help. Brother Matt told me to come back here. Whatever. Looks like we got it done, guys. Wow. Good job, team. You did one thing. Team. Yeah, team. Good job. I had a hard enough time having Ethan come in here, and then you showed up. And there's, no, there's no team. Yeah, there's team. It's me. Oh. Kind of like this.
All right, and then there were two. <laughs> Congratulations yeah. to our winner. To Thank go. you for sending in your answer. As always, yeah. thank you for paying attention. Thank you for being a part of Junior yeah. Church. We love the participation. Always love the participation. Great. Love it. And now, yeah. it's time for everybody's favorite oh, part yeah. of Junior Church because you get to be involved and you get to win prizes. It's time for Question, question of, of the week. week with Brother Matt. That's me. The Question of the Week. Send it in to the Junior Church text line at 717-739-6536. That number just rolls right off the top. It does. It does. It's like Tell we've been me. saying it for two and a half years now. Oh my goodness, has it been that long? It has been that long. Wow, praise God for every single Junior over Church episode. Over 100 Probably over 120 episodes now. Probably. Hey, praise God for everything. We stopped counting at 100. We made that special. But yeah, anyway. Maybe, maybe we'll do it again at 200. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, 200 coming to a YouTube near you. Anyway, yeah. question of the week with Brother Matt. <laughs> question. From today's lesson, remember we talked about. It's a good lesson. A farmer. It was a good, very good lesson. A farmer hired a bunch of different people throughout the day. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They all got paid the same amount. Yep. Yep. Even the ones that got hired in the morning, the ones that got hired at night. Mm hmm. How much did they get paid? Hmm. 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 It doesn't seem like a lot to us, but back in Bible times, yep. this yep. word meant a little bit more than what it is nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Almost send it. Yeah. Woo! Send it in. It sounds like something I would do. 739-6536. We'd love to hear from you. Send us your answer. Por favor. All right. Yeah, look who just... It well, looks like they finally, uh, finally finished up. It's the laborers. Come on over this way. Why are they all standing behind me? I feel like they're going to mug me or something. Yeah, well, they're probably not too kind of suspicious. Worked, they worked hard today. Oh, some of them worked hard today. Some of them Who worked. Who made that mess in the first place? Uh, probably you. You have to ask. Come on, it was Brother Tony, obviously. Brother Tony is never <laughs> in that room. <laughs> you, guys, you guys get the room all cleaned up? Yeah, it's all clean. Look all spick and span? Yeah, stinking. All right. Will that make Miss Jess proud? Does anybody not <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna check it out. But yeah, sometimes you know, it can happen. Occasionally. I'm gonna go check out the room, inspect the work. I'll be right back. You know, have fun. Hey, let's see what's happening here. Oh, whoa! This place is looking not nice. the floor. I see a floor. Everything's put back on their shelves. I like it. I like it. Oh, hey, Bill Tony. Looking good. Wow, guys, looks real good in there. I guess you all, uh, you all ready for payday? I know. Yeah. All right, just as promised, I, I promise to be fair with you all. Um, start. Brother Ethan, 100 victory bucks just for you, man. Thanks for your help today. Thank you. I could be spent at any Victory Baptist bookstore. Oh, yeah. And uh, Gavin, my dude, 100 victory bucks for you. And... Luke, just as promised, a hundred victory bucks just for you. I, I started earlier. Yeah, well. And I worked more than they did. Well, yeah, but that's how much we agreed on, right? Yeah. Should we go back and watch the replay? Let's watch the replay. Twice. A chance to earn some blessings. What kind more of blessings? Specifically, a chance to earn some victory bucks. 100 victory bucks. 100 victory bucks. To be exact. There you have it. Yep. Obviously, agreed bucks. on, yep. hand shook, yep. it's a deal. Yep, yep. No, I mean, I, I think that's fair. I think it's fair. <laughs> you and I both agreed on it. And, and look, it's, it's my money. And if I want to bless these brothers with a little bit more, that's, that's on me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, but you know, it's kind of like your lesson today. Yeah. You know, those guys in the field, and like Jesus was trying to teach. You know, the great thing is, it doesn't matter if you get saved when you're five mm -hmm. or 50 or 105. Yep. We all get to go to heaven. We all get to share the blessings of the Lord. Yep. Yep. It's no less heaven for somebody who got saved when they were young or old. Amen. And you know what? God takes care of us all, and we should be excited about that, yeah. not jealous about it. Praise you know? God for all the blessings. That's it. He blesses it's us all. Blessings. Thank him. Every good gift comes from him. And so, uh, anyway, hopefully you enjoy Junior Church. These guys got everything looking nice yeah. and neat. Hey, you know what? And they'd love for you to come check it out. Yeah. If you're not doing anything around 1030 on a Sunday morning, guess what? 
Come see our you can closet. you can come check out our storage closet. No, you can come be right here with us in Junior Church. We would love to have you in person if you're not already coming. Hey, and maybe this is the first time you've ever watched Junior Church. Watch some of the old ones. Like we said, it's like 120 episodes. And there's some pretty funny stuff. Mario, Moses, Gavin running around screaming for really no reason. He's scared of old people. Black market dealers. Then there was that time Brother Jonathan got lost in time. Oh. All of that kind of stuff. Check it out if you haven't already. Maybe you maybe you just jumped in recently. Check out all of our online junior churches because they're hilarious if we do say so ourselves. <laughs> Blessings. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you have a good Sunday, and we will see you next week. Bye.